In the following tutorial, we will review how to register a new patient in Pod Practice. To begin, from the home screen, choose New Patient Registration from the Patient drop-down menu. The first step is to complete the Patient Info section in the Patient Chart. Once the Patient Info screen is saved, the remainder of the chart becomes activated. The patient location defaults to the location selected at login. This can be changed from the drop-down menu. Dependent on your system configuration, the medical record number will either generate automatically when the record is saved, or the field will be editable and the user can enter the MRN manually. The fields notated with a red asterisk are required. Continue completing the patient-specific information fields. The physician field refers to the patient's referring provider or the provider who is treating the patient for their systemic condition if one exists. Begin typing the last name of the physician and the list will appear. If a new physician needs to be added to the referring physician list, choose the magnifying glass to open the referring physician list and then add to begin registering a new physician. Once the patient info screen is complete, click Save. After the record is saved, the buttons for Guarantor and Allergies become active. If the patient has a Guarantor, click the button labeled Guarantor and add in the responsible party's information. Click Add when you are done. It is possible to add more than one Guarantor. After all Guarantors are added, choose Back. You can also add alerts or allergies to the patient's chart. Click the Allergies button to open options for alerts or allergies. Check the box for those appropriate to the patient, then save. To add insurance to the patient record, choose the insurance ribbon located to the left of the patient chart. Select the coverage level for the first plan you wish to enter. When you click inside of the Insurance Carrier field, the available insurance list will display. Select the appropriate insurance from the list. Select the plan name from the drop-down menu, and continue filling in the insurance information and the subscriber details section. Be sure to check the box for Accept Assignment when the practice accepts assignment on the plan. Also make sure to select the appropriate insurance type from the drop-down menu. It is recommended to only use Auto, Medicare, Medicaid, Workers' Compensation, and Commercial for everything else. Once you have completed the insurance registration portion, you may choose to save the information by clicking the Save button or click Save and check Benefits. Once the policy is saved, it is added to the grid at the top of the insurance screen. To add additional policies, Begin by selecting the coverage level for the next policy, and then enter the insurance information and subscriber details for the plan. Lastly, to scan or upload documents to the patient's record, choose Documents ribbon located beneath Insurance. Begin by choosing Full Scan, Quick Scan, or Upload. Full Scan brings up the scanner user interface and displays a preview of the scan document, which can be reviewed prior to saving. Quick Scan does not provide a preview and inserts the scan document without review. Upload allows the user to pull in a file from their local hard drive. After selecting Full Scan, notice that the scanner information populates. Choose Auto Feed or Flatbed, depending on the location of the paper in your scanner. Select the appropriate document type. If the document type you selected requires review, a second window opens for you to select the user group and user to whom you wish to assign the document. Select the Scan Now option. Preview the image and choose Accept to complete it, and then Exit. 
Once all pertinent paperwork has been scanned or uploaded, you may exit the patient by returning to the home screen. This concludes the patient registration tutorial. Please do not hesitate to contact customer support if you need further clarification on the registration process.